Um, Brad Blanks and I'm sitting in a cosy hotel room with uh, Ricky Gervais. How, how the heck are you, mate? Fantastic. What do you say to people that don't know you in this uh, country of America that you're actually sublimely dominating? Um, if you don't know me, I'd say I'm about 6'2", um, 28, tanned. If you do know me, I'm a little short, fat bloke from England. And of course, you won a Golden Globe. I mean, how did you come in and steal that from uh, all these other really famous people? You've hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what it felt like. It felt like I'd stolen it. And uh, even on the way out, I was thinking, someone's going, we were only joking. Give it back. That's not yours. That's not yours. That's, that's Matt LeBlanc's. What are you doing? And uh, yeah, it was very strange on the way in. No one knew who we were. Uh, and then to pick up two. I mean, one is annoying for, for everyone there, but to, to steal two. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was the most surreal night of my life. And it was good that you brought everyone up on stage. It was a part of the office. What a motley crew we look like. Everyone else there, you know, uh, authorised height, skin tone, teeth colouring. And then there's us that look like something you'd pay a shilling to see in a tent a hundred years ago. The cameraman couldn't even get us all in. He didn't know where to point the camera. Unbelievable. And, and of course, your great line. Um, how did you come up with that one? What you, the, you might as well repeat it. What, the one uh, um, the I from a little place called England? We used to run the world before you. Of course, you played a good part in the, the whole Live 8 uh, you know, uh, procedures, and the, I guess the Americans would have seen you doing a dance up there and wondered, what the heck is this bloke doing? Biggest TV audience of all time, biggest uh, rock gig. I think uh, it had 250,000 people there. I turned up in sweatpants and a T-shirt because I just rushed from my radio show, and I danced like a fool, like a fool. Uh, you know, if you're going to embarrass yourself, do it in front of the biggest audience of all time. Otherwise, it's not worth it. It's not worth your while. And what did uh, Madonna say to you when you walked off the stage? She had a bit of a, a yarn to you? No, she, but I think after I'd gone on, I was sort of standing around, and, uh, and she walked up to me with her, her people, and she said, um, I'm your biggest fan. And I said, and who are you? And she said, I'm Paris Hilton. <laughs> that's a good line from her. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's weird as well. Madonna coming up to you, and uh, Brad Pitt came up to me and said he was a fan, so... Uh, yeah, it was a, another, another strange day. This isn't so much a career, it's like I've won a competition. It's strange, isn't it? It's just the funny things happening in this strange Neverland. You're in a, a wonderful Disney vanguard animation flick called Valiant, and you play a bit of a con artist. Yeah, it's, uh, I, um, it's me and Ewan McGregor, and he uh, plays the eponymous hero, Valiant, and he's a, he's a small, brave pigeon. And I'm a, a, a big, fat, lazy pigeon. I don't know why they cast me. Um, and uh, I'm uh, sort of a reluctant sort of hero, and it's really a sort of buddy movie. It's about sort of friendship, and you know, it's one of those like a pigeon's got to do what a pigeon's got to do. And I, I like it because it's—I think it's old-fashioned. I, I don't know what you know what people think of it, but you know, is it essentially a kids' film? Um, but I think it's a family film. I think it's aimed at the family. But you know, it's just a really sweet sort of tale, and I, I really enjoyed doing it. And it, I, I turned down so many films. I, I don't think I'm a film star. This. This ticked all the boxes. I wasn't in it, which is which is nice. So it's just it, it's just a little fat pigeon with my voice. Um, they uh, they recorded it really close to my house, um, and they said I can I can ad lib, which included burping. So it's a perfect film for me. So there is a Ricky Gervais comedy essence coming through in the in the in a cartoon. Yeah, you can. Yeah, for people who uh, know me would certainly know that, that that that's me. That's me under those feathers. And you um, get to protect uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, you and McGregor in some ways. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, that's a strange one, isn't it? He, he goes from like Star Wars <laughs> to being a small pigeon protected by a fat, smelly bloke. Wow. That's a great. <laughs> Your career's going on the up. He's just on the way there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Notice how I confused myself with a pigeon. Then I, I, I merged them. Oh, dear. method acting at a special like that exactly. from De Niro. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I hung around uh, Trafalgar Square with loads of corn for for years. Years like dusting off, and I got. Re I really got into it. I spent a lot of nights sort of like on the fourth floor outside buildings on ledges, going Ooh, just to get into the part. That's how <laughs> dedicated I am. Hey, you're a champion. It's uh, a pleasure to finally meet you and uh, I think I've learnt something today in your, in your presence. That's worrying. <laughs> Don't take anything I say seriously. No? Uh, no. Wh whatever I said I can't remember. <laughs>